It's a great opportunity to be here in Las Vegas today, and I, I want to say a few words, and, and, uh, and uh, indeed in respect of Reyes Giovanna, and also uh, Dolores Huerta. I want, I want to particularly thank Dolores, because um, six years ago when I was running for Congress in southern New Mexico against Steve Pierce, Dolores came and went and campaigned for me all, the, all one day, and I appreciate that. So uh, part of what I get a chance to say today is uh, folks ask me to talk a little bit about the work our office has done with regard to, uh, to making sure that the White Peak area is available to, to New Mexicans for their for hunting and, and camping and <laughs> and all that. Kind of so I'm very proud of my young lawyers that worked on that case. And, and, and I want to thank um, the, the current land commissioner, Ray Powell, for, for taking all the steps that are necessary to return that land uh, back to use for the public in New Mexico for the people here in Northern New Mexico. But while I'm here and I have a chance, let me say, I, uh, uh, Mr. Tiarina will remember, uh, I'm sure, I, I'll bet he had some sprightly discussions with my father, with Bruce King, so, uh, and he, he's not here anymore, but uh, it's, it's an honor for me to have a chance because I think they're all historical figures in the state of New Mexico, and, and here's what I think that they both had in common, and, and something that I try to remember. I think that, that they taught us, if, if the government, and if government officials remember to take into account our culture and our history and what's best for the people of the state of New Mexico and don't worry so much about you know what what people think about us or whatever but just focus on what's good for the people that that will all be successful and that and the government will be successful and that we won't have to have situations where we have conflict but we'll all be able to work together to, to do the best thing for the people in New Mexico so I appreciate all of you being here today and pledge to you that we'll do everything that we can in the Attorney General's office to continue to work to protect our northern New Mexico values and, and, and our historical treasures and our cultural treasures and to, and to do everything that we can to make life better for you and for your families and particularly for your children. That, that's what I think we all need to remember and I think that that is, is really the legacy that we're celebrating here today. And I, I do have to say no, no disrespect, I'm going to have to leave pretty quick because, uh, and I think that Dolores and, and Mr. Tiarino will both understand this, uh, I've got a labor dispute going back in New Mexico. I, it's important for us to make sure that the state of New Mexico is recognizing the prevailing wage law, and I've got a bunch of people waiting for me back in my office so that we can enforce the prevailing wage law and make sure that working people in New Mexico get the wages that they're entitled to, too. So we're going to do that to happen. Thank you all very much for having me here today. And I see, I want to say hello because he worked with my dad to uh, Governor Roberto Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all so very much. I appreciate it. And good luck.